The Honors Program was started here at Cabrillo in 2008, and it was designed for students who are university ready academically, but decide to come to the community college and then transfer to the four year. The goal of the program is really to have a seamless transfer to the university when the student gets there, that they're absolutely ready to be there for junior level work. We hear over and over again from students that, that we're meeting that goal, that their essay writing skills, their study skills, their research skills, and their ability to communicate with their professors is absolutely where it needs to be. I actually phoned Carolyn Jackson. I explained to her my situation and kind of what my academic goals were, and she really kind of pushed me to do the application process, which consisted of an essay. I remember it being pretty easy. I had the GPA for it, um, and I never went under, so I think that was sort of the biggest requirement. And it required a <laughs> last-minute um, letter of recommendation. In an honors classroom, you have students who all want ideally the same thing and that's you know a better education and to go off to a good school it really changes the type of environment. I had done IB at my school and it felt kind of similar to IB or AP having a sort of group of people you know were kind of nerdy and wanted to do higher level classes as is so. You're with students from a wide variety of backgrounds and experiences, students who've been off to the university and then come back, students who've taken time off and you benefit from that life experience. It's like playing basketball with a bunch of people who are at your level or better. And you're not going to get better if you're not with people who are better than you. You're in a cohort of like-minded, motivated students who are supportive of you. They become your study partners and your friends. Class discussion or students you can work with, bounce ideas off, whether it's writing a paper or a speech. Being able to do group projects with them, being able to sort of over two years work with them was a big part of what made the classes stand out. It's more of a seminar style. There's a lot of small group work, discussion work, and you get that one-on-one -on -one time with your instructor that you don't get at a large public university, especially as a freshman. You have mandatory office hours with your professor. You talk with them about your research projects and your, your passions and what your goals are. They give you a fair amount of independence. And so you had a little more freedom to pursue projects or uh, topics that interested you. And they give you a little more support than you could sort of expect. The faculty that has been selected to lead these classes are usually the ones at the head of their department. And I think that makes a huge difference. I've got to have a passionate teacher to enjoy the subject. And so to get in the honors classes and know that I'm going to have a good teacher is, is really worth it. To be honest, most of our honor students each year go to UC Berkeley. That seems to be the best fit for them. For our students that are certified for UCLA TAP, they have priority admission into the College of Letters and Sciences. A lot of students transfer to UCSC, right up the hill from us. Our honor students are really attracted to competitive universities around the country. I'd say try it. There's nothing to lose in doing it. You're going to meet a lot of people. Universities, they see that you are a part of the honors program, so they know that you're a serious student and you take school seriously. Research and scholarship opportunities are broadened for our honors students. Every year, we have our honors students winning prestigious scholarships. I guess the question is, where do you want to go?